Welcome viewers, former President Donald Trump and his attorneys promised in June that, for real, he had passed over all the White House documents the federal government had demanded be returned. Weeks later, the FBI recovered thousands of documents from Trump's Mar-a-Lago property, and it appears now that the lying from Trump hasn't stopped. But before we go ahead we will like you to take a minute of your precious time to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more edifying content from us. To proceed, NBC News reported Friday that the Justice Department still isn't satisfied Trump has forked over all the documents he packed away when leaving Washington. If that's the case and Trump isn't storing them at Mar-a-Lago, there are only a few options for where else they would possibly be. It's time, then, for the FBI to come knocking again, particularly at Trump's Bedminster Golf Course in New Jersey. Top counterintelligence official Jay Bratt lately communicated the Justice Department's beliefs to Trump's team, NBC News reported. The New York Times, which first reported the Justice Department's suspicions Thursday, noted that Trump's lawyers were divided over how to reply to the insinuation that their client is still being less than honest with the government. After Bratt's warning, Trump at first agreed to a plan from attorney Chris Kyes, who suggested hiring a forensic firm to search for additional documents. But Kyes used to be outmaneuvered by more combative lawyers in Trump's circle, who play better to Trump's, often self-destructive, intuition to fight. His lawyers have argued in court since the August 8 search of Mar-a-Lago that the legally unsupported raid, as they deem it, used to be unnecessary, given Trump's cooperation with the investigation. But that cooperation, as the Justice Department has laid out in numerous filings, was spotty at best. Trump reportedly pushed back for the duration of the process, at times referring to the documents as mine. The January transfer of 15 boxes from Mar-a-Lago to the National Archives and Records Administration took nearly a year to facilitate. Throughout the process, the Times reported Saturday, Trump lied to everyone including his very own lawyers about the contents of the boxes he'd packed before leaving the White House. Trump himself reportedly sorted through the files to be shipped to the National Archives in December, never letting on that classified material was strewn at some stage in the papers. Once the FBI reviewed the contents and realized that was the case, the Justice Department issued a subpoena for any and all additional government records in Trump's possession. Brad and different Justice Department officials visited Mar-a-Lago on June 3 to stress how vital it was that Trump hand over all the required documents. He exceeded over a few more, and a Trump attorney signed a document certifying that a diligent search had been conducted to look for any stray papers. But Trump's legal professionals also, in a completely non-suspicious fashion, told the Justice Department they weren't allowed to look at any of the packing containers in a storage room that supposedly held all the needed material. After that visit, the Justice Department said in a September court filing, the FBI developed evidence that authorities' records were likely concealed and eliminated from the storage room and that efforts were likely taken to obstruct the government's investigation. On August 5, that evidence helped persuade a federal choose to sign off on a warrant to search Mar-a-Lago. Federal agents left the Florida estate with dozens of boxes containing over 10,000 authorities' documents, at least 100 of which bore classification markings. Those classified documents are under assessment by the FBI, despite several attempts via Trump's team to stonewall the investigation. Some key questions remain unanswered, including whether the branch has concrete evidence that Trump still holds classified material, or it is just a suspicion based on inferences, such as the empty envelopes with classified markings that were seized at Mar-a-Lago, or facts from the National Archives that it's still missing documents. What is your sincere take on this video? Kindly drop your comments below and thanks for watching.